I'm Erica Hill in New York. There is breaking news on the Trayvon Martin case. We are just learning that the judge in this case moments ago has set bail for George Zimmerman at $150,000. With this announcement, it is possible that Zimmerman could be released as early as today. Now, you're looking at a live picture from the courtroom in Sanford, Florida. Earlier this morning, Zimmerman did take the stand at this bail hearing, and for the first time, he addressed the parents of the man he's accused of murdering, addressing them face to face. Trayvon Martin's parents were in court there. Here, take a listen. I wanted to say I am sorry uh, for the loss of your son. I did not know how old he was. I thought he was a little bit younger than I am, and I did not know if he was armed or not. Zimmerman stepped down after a few minutes of questioning. Uh, as we mentioned, the judge just announcing now he had set at a, a bail at $150,000. Now, initially, Zimmerman's attorney had asked that it be set at 15, bail be set at no higher than $15,000, telling the judge this morning uh, that he is not a dangerous man, talking about his client, George Zimmerman, that he does not believe he is a flight risk. He also gave the judge Zimmerman's passport. Zimmerman's family wanted to testify as well, but felt that for safety concerns, Concerns, the best way to do that would be to do it over the phone. As I mentioned earlier, Trayvon Martin's parents, uh, Tracy and Sabrina, were there in the courtroom. Zimmerman addressing them for the first time. You can see pictures of them there along with their attorney, Benjamin Crump. Now, both prosecutors and Martin's parents were opposing that bail for Zimmerman. They believe he should have been kept in jail until his trial on second degree murder charges. This, of course, uh, the event that has really just brought a nation to following it Michael, as there were. So there was so much talk initially about the death of this unarmed 17 year old teen. There have been questions raised about whether or not it was racially motivated. Uh, there have been questions raised about this law in Florida known as the Stand Your Ground Law, whether or not this will hold up, whether or not it should be reexamined. All things we will continue to follow for you here on CBS News. You're watching CBS This Morning.